In this lesson, we're going to create the player that we move around our maze. Now, if we think of the player, the player could be in level two, as we move around level two, it will also be in level one. Now, what I don't want to do is create a player in level one and code it, and then create another player in level two and code it again. So this is where the scenes come in. Anything that you're going to reuse, think about creating a scene for it. So I'm going to create a scene for my player. So I'm going to click on plus. And we're not going to do a 2D scene this time. We're going to click on other node. And the node we want is going to be called a kinematic body 2D. Now think of a kinematic body 2D. If you are interacting with physics and you're controlling the player with code, kinematic body 2D is the way to go. I have my kinematic body 2D node. I'm going to double click to rename this, renaming it as player. Now you may notice we've got this warning triangle, this yellow warning triangle here. And if I click on that, it said that this node has no shape. So it can't collide or interact with other objects. Consider adding a collision, collision shape 2D or a collision polygon 2D as a child to define its shape. So what we're saying here is this player is just this little cross in the middle. It's just a single point there. There's no shape to it. There's no mass to it, etc. It's just a reference to a player. So what we can do is we can add a sprite or a graphic to it so we can actually see the player. So let's do that. We'll add a child node, search for sprite, and we'll get a couple of options here. We've got animated sprites and we have just the single sprite. So I'll click on that one. It's really important you go back to player before adding the second child node. And this one is the collision shape 2D. So there it is, collision shape 2D, double click on that. So by adding that collision shape 2D, you can see the little warning triangle disappeared from the player, but we do have a warning triangle now on the collision shape itself. And if I click on that, it says, a shape must be provided for collision shape 2D to function. Please create a shape resource for it. And we'll do that in a second. So if I go back to my player, as I said, this player is just currently this little cross here. So let's add a sprite or graphic, an image, so we can actually see the player. And we've got this default image down here, this icon.png. So make sure a sprite is selected. Click on the icon PNG and drag and drop onto the texture on the inspector on the right hand side. And now we can see our player appear in the top left hand corner. I'm going to zoom in so I can see my player a little bit clearer. And now we can add the collision shape 2D. So currently we can't do any interactions with this. It won't bump into walls because it doesn't have any collision defined. So we're going to define that collision and over here on the inspector, we've got the shape. It's empty. Several options here to choose from. And the obvious one, obviously, is this rectangle shape 2D. Now we can see it here in the center. It's not quite big enough. So let's enlarge that. I'm going to hold down my option key. Click and drag on these little handles. And click and drag. And now it's covering the entire graphic. I'm going to click back on player. Now I'm going to save this scene by command S. It's called player.tscn. And if you recall, it's called player because our node, our top node, node, our root node here is called player. So save. Now if I was to play this scene, and I can do that in the top right hand corner here, we've got this little clapperboard with play scene. I can click on that. And we can see that our player is almost hidden in the top left hand corner. It's actually at the origin of our game screen here. So I'm going to close that. So this center point here where it is, is actually at the origin. And let's close this output here, zoom out a little bit. So our game window we can see is this area here and we're stuck in the top left hand corner. So I'm going to click on player. And before moving it, I'm going to click on this little icon here. 
And by doing that, it will keep the player, the sprite, and the collision shape 2D all together. And it's almost like grouping them. And I can move that down across. And now I can play that scene again. And there we can see the player. In the next video, we're going to add some code to our player so we can move it left, right, up, and down. And we're going to keep that script fairly easy, just a few lines of code. We'll get our player moving.